no longer international love. It is now a global obsession. Guys, I'll be showing you another City of Tweak, and this one is exceptional. Um, it is by far one of the best City of Tweaks I've seen, not only this year, but in a long time. And yes, it is called Vlox, and yes, it takes everything on your iPod to the next level. Alright, so you might be wondering, what makes this tweak so amazing? And basically, a developer looked at the normal traditional folder, and he was like, Whoa, I can take this and put a mini application directly inside of it. And that's exactly what he did. So let's start off with our photos application. So when you swipe down or up on the photos application, let me just show you that again. This time I swept upward. It automatically brings you to this list of things in which you can share your last photo taken on Twitter, Facebook, mail it, or even copy it. Now this goes for most of the stock applications except a handful such as videos, clock, calculator, but the developers are not done with this tweak yet soon enough there will be certain tweaks for those as well but the developers didn't just leave the tweak directly the way it is they took the tweak and they added a notification section directly on it so say i go into google voice and of course there's no mini application since it's not a stock application but i can automatically see whether there's any notifications or not and if I don't want to see one of them, I can just swipe to the right and the notification will go away. At the moment, I do not have any. So let's go sec check out some of the apps that do have the mini applications. So for starters, when I swipe down from calendar, right now I have all of these uh, events. Same goes for reminders. Just takes one second to load. Um, this also goes for FaceTime. FaceTime, they did an excellent job. You can call the person back or you can reply with a message directly from within your springboard. Weather, they created an excellent little tiny mini application and it gives you the weather for the next 24 hours via Yahoo and the weather at that exact moment. I'm sure developers will continue to add on to this tweak. Um, videos and stocks don't really have anything. Voice memos don't have anything. They're still working on those. Um, but the settings application has an amazing tweak attached to it. So it gives you three pages of toggles, which is excellent, and a brightness slider. I'm pretty sure you can't really see that. Um, another amazing thing is the music, and this is quite helpful if you ask me. I can play, pause, go next, or back directly from here. And I can also skip to a certain part of the song, which is awesome. You can go try that out on your own. Um, the last part of this tweak I'll be showing you, or second to last, is the camera. Since I'm running an iPod 4G, it might take a little bit of time to load, but on the iPhone 5, it loads up pretty fast. There is my desk, and you can switch it to video, or you can go ahead and cancel. And once again, since these are sort of like folders, you can touch anywhere outside of the mini box, and it will bring you right back to your normal home screen. Now, the last tweak I'll be showing you, which works for Opera, Opera and a Chrome browser, but is best on Safari, is right here. And so you swipe up from Safari, and it gives you this mini web browser right here. And you can go to certain pages, you can go back, forward, and of course, enter a certain ad address right here. There are also many other features that come with this tweak, such as YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. If you swipe down from Twitter, it automatically brings you to the Twitter application. Um, you can go try that out on your own. But for now, I don't want to make this video way too long, so I'll show you the final few features. Um, let's go into the settings application. Now, one thing I love about these guys, or these developers, is the fact that they took the time to explain the entire tweak word for word. Now, most tweaks I download and I have to play around with and figure it out on my own. This tweak, on the other hand, gives you a full explanation for everything. For instance, it tells you about the reminders folder right here. This simple folder shows you your reminders sorted by date. Tap on a reminder to open the reminders app. And so yeah, this taught me a lot, and that's why I'm doing such a good job at reviewing this tweak. Um, now I'll go ahead and show you the preferences. You can do Always Notification Center for this app. Rem remember I showed you the fact that you didn't need to use the mini application. You can just swipe down and see the notifications. If there's a certain app such as uh, Camera, 
that you do not want to see the camera applica mini application for, you can go ahead and turn this on and it won't show you the mini application. It will show you uh, the notifications center. Um, also, it gives you the options on whether you want, how you want to open the mini application up. You can swipe down, swipe up, and as I have it, swipe up and down. You will need to respring in order to have these changes take effect. The final part of the settings is QR for messages. And what this does is when you swipe down for, from a messages application, you can tap and hold the to, uh, tap and hold the message that someone sent you and directly from there you can type up a reply and send it from them it, and that also works for SMS byte SMS or whatever that tweak is called and that is about it you can go follow the developers on Twitter these guys are just pure awesome um, they spent a lot of effort creating this tweak and of course it's sort of open source so anyone can go ahead and add themes and certain apps and widgets to these uh to these certain sections and i think any developers out there who are watching this video should go ahead and definitely do that other than that that's about it for my video thank you for watching this is one of the best reviews i've done yet i've been making jailbreak videos for about two months and i make one every single day so i hope you go subscribe if you want to know about tweaks way before they come out Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Said it's the only thing we know how to do. Work hard, play hard.